Okay, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is Brian, aka the Spiritual Warrior. And I'm gonna need for y'all to stay tuned at the end of this video right here. So I'm gonna need for everybody to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and share this video. Make sure you turn your notifications on as well. A whole lot, a whole lot of content coming on the way. So make sure you stay tuned. Alright? But anyways, I'm not gonna do a lot of talking on here. But let's get on with this topic now, shall we? They are miserable because your spirit is filled with brightness and happiness. And their spirit filled with darkness and sadness. Folks, listen up. Do you wonder why you get around certain people and you feel their energy is so dark and demonic and sadness and builder? Because they smell your energy. It's like a shark in the water smelling blood. They can feel your energy. Because your energy is so happy. It's so filled with happiness. Excuse me. It's filled with brightness and joyful. Excuse me. <clears throat> I had eat some chips. <clears throat> your spirit is so filled with greatness. It's filled with positivity. Your spirit it bothers their demons. Your spirit intimidates people. This is why people scatter away from you, believe it or not. Your energy is too good for them. They can't take it. They can't handle it. <laughs> so what they do, they scatter away from you. And you be wondering why you be scaring people. Why you intimidate people. It's not you. It's them. That spirit is so filled up with hate. Darkness, bitterness, sadness, any word you can think of, they are filled with it. You ask me, they fit with crap. They fit with doo doo crap if you ask me. But, anyways, this is why you can't be around these type of people. Because these people, they're going to get very scared of you. They're going to think, think you a serial killer. They're going to think you Michael Myers or Jason or somebody. But, like kid and play, you ain't going to hurt nobody. You just minding your business. You out here trying to elevate. You trying to get to that grind. And what they doing? Not nothing. They sitting back watching you. Intimidating. Man, you got these people shaking in their pants right now. Your spirit. Is so strong. They can't handle it. I'm talking about it's strong like the Terminator himself. You're strong like Rocky. You got the heart of a lion. You got the heart of a champion. And they heart, I can't speak for them, but us spiritual warriors, us winners, we got the heart of a champion, man. We got the heart of a chosen one and of a star seed and of a leader. And they see it. They see it inside of us. Every time you get around these people, they feel some type of way. Every time you get around these people, they acting stupid. They acting crazy. They saying stuff out there, booty crack. They can't even think when you in their presence. They can't do nothing. They sit there and act stupid. <sighs> like dumb dumb. Dumber than dumb. Y'all know the movie Dumber and Dumber. This is how these these how these people be acting when you get around them or you get near their presence. They be acting dumber than dumb. Your spirit makes people feel some type of way. And I want to say to you, do not feel bad. You should be thankful. You should be looking in the mirror and be thankful for the spirit that you uh you should be looking in the mirror and be thankful for the spirit that you have. I consider that as a gift, believe it or not. <laughs> not a lot of people in today in today's society had that type of gift. Everybody don't have that confidence. Everybody don't have that confidence inside themselves. You got it all. All the above. Your spirit got the confidence. You got the self-confidence. 
You got the faith. You got the courage. Your spirit is joyful. It's brightness. It's, it's full of light. You happy. And most importantly, you don't give a damn what other people think or say about you. And they can't stand it. Urgh, it boils them. It boils their blood pressure up. They like little chihuahuas. Every time they see you, they barking. Urgh. And you the big dog. And every time you come in their presence, they whine like a little chihuahua and start running. When I like the little dogs that they are. The little chihuahuas. Your spirit is imitating a lot of people demons and spiritual warriors. Do not be ashamed and do not feel bad for it. Because like, like Slip the Shocker, it ain't your fault. Oh, it ain't my fault. Did I do that? It ain't my fault. Did I do that? You're going to scare a lot of people. A lot of people going to be isolating themselves from you. Good. Because that's what you want. You don't want these type of people around you anyway. Now what they fake snake energy they got inside themselves. Them demonic darkness spirits. That type of spirit that they got. Is filled with weakness. No I mean no no self confidence, no whatsoever, folks. Every time you look into their eyes, what you see? Lack of courage, lack of confidence. Darkness, evil, bitterness. And you can see it inside of people too. I think this is why you intimidate people too. Note to self. We can see why do these people. You can see why do these karmics. These do the head donkeys. You can see why do them. I mean, literally, you can see why do a person. Just look at the way they act and the way they behave. Let's sit back and watch. Observe people. See what type of spirit that they have. And before they open that. Before they open up their doggone mouth, you can see what type of spirit they are carrying inside themselves. That should tell you something right there. This person right here is full of darkness. They don't love themselves. And you can also tell by the way a person carries themselves too. Whether they got a good hygiene or bad hygiene. That's another thing. Your energy is so clean. You got good hygiene. I'm talking about energy wise too. Your heart is so built up with happiness, forgiveness. You're not bitter. You're not out here trying to hurt people. You're not holding grudges. But them, they holding grudges, having hate in their heart. They still holding grudges for five or ten years. They're still holding grudges from their breakup since high school. Man, you'll be you'll be amazed right now. Or what kind of grudges people are holding on, holding on or that type of weight they having on their back. And this is why you be seeing this is this is what we're, this is what one with the word right here. People are carrying a lot of baggage, other people's baggage, carrying grudges. They need to let that stuff go. This is why the word is so negativity today the way it is right doggone now. Carrying other people's problems. This is why that this is why their spirit is so filled up with evil and darkness and toxicity. Their spirit is so funky and filthy right now. They need to do some spiritual healing, some cleaning. They need to do some praying. Because that hate they have in their heart is just making them more builder. And every time they get around a person like you, that got a clean, good-hearted spirit, they get scared of that. They get really scared. I don't know why, but people like that, they need some serious help. They're not living right out here, spiritual warriors. And like I said, it ain't your fault. It ain't your fault. It's not your fault. So stop feeling bad for yourself. If you got a good heart, your spirit is filled with brightness, joyful, happiness, even your teeth is all white. Yeah, I took it there. Even your teeth all white, everything on you that's so good hygiene, that good energy. Don't don't feel bad. Please don't. Cause them type of people right there, they need to do some spiritual cleaning here, healing. They need to get in that shower. 
and do some spiritual healing. Do some praying. Do something. Get that soap and water. Wash them demons off of them. Do something. Because life is too short to be walking around um, holding grudges or having hate in your heart. Or having darkness in, inside of your DNA. Life is too short for all that. But I will say this, ladies and gentlemen. If you ever see somebody with this type of energy or this type of spirit, do me this one favor and look at me. Look into my eyes and read my lips and listen to me, man. Listen to me, Shawty. I need you to get away far as possible away from these type of people. Whether you work with them or you live with them or you marry to them, get away from them. Get away, get away, get away. I want you to run. Two words. Get out. Get away from these people. Because if you stay long and hang around these type of folks, you will end up just like them. That's like hanging around a person who is sick and contagious. And the more you keep hanging around them, you will get sick and you will become just like them. That energy is nothing to play with. That energy will jump off of them and land it on you. And that is something you do not want to happen to you. I suggest you walk alone and hang around people that got the same heart and got the same spirit as you. Do not get in a relationship with this, with this type of person or these type of people. They will F your life up if you let them. But I want to say this as well. If you are friends with this type of person, they got this type of energy, this type of spirit. Cut the cord. Get the scissors and cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Your spirit way too dirty. You need to cut it. Cut these people off, folks. Cut it. Cut them. Cut them. You about to cut them off. Cut them off immediately before it's too late. And get around some people who got some good, clean, hearted spirits. Get out there and shine bright with that spirit of yours. Shine bright. Even show your teeth if you got to. Show the world. No matter how dirty the world is, you still out here living clean. You still out here having a good heart. And all these people out here having these gender wars, that's another example. Don't be like them. Continue to love. Continue to spread the positivity into this world. Don't let nothing, and I, and I mean don't let nothing or anybody change you for who you are. You keep having a good heart. You keep having that joyful spirit. You keep on having brightness and happiness into your heart. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for having that. Don't type of people right there. Forget them. They stare in the dark. They stare bitter. They stare sad. But pray for, pray for them. Because they need it. People like them, they really need it. But with that being said, I want to drop this message off before I leave out. For, for, uh, I want to drop this message before I leave up out of here. If you got a good heart, if you got a good heart, if you have one and you like to see other people happy, do that. But be very, very careful of who you help. Be careful. Who you share your energy and your spirit to. Be very careful. There's a lot of people out here are energy snatchers. They will snatch your energy up. They will snatch it like a thief in the night. The people like people like that be living be living negativity. They don't care about you. So why you should why you should uh why you should care about them? People like that do not give a crap about you. Stop helping folks. Stop trying to help everybody. Everybody do not want to be saved. Save yourself. Better yet, save people that want to be saved. But them, let's pray for them. Their spirit will need to do some healing and some cleaning. They need to get some brightness, some happiness into their spirit. Your spirit already they got that. But them, let's pray for them. They will be all right. And you, you definitely going to be all right. Keep your head up, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, 
Uh, be back. Peace.